Okay, so the... Is that steaming up? So the decision was made for me by a phone call and a message from Andy at Angel Wing Designs. New product. It's called Angel Wings Carbon Feather and basically it's um, carbon tissue. It's nine grams a square meter carbon tissue. So I've decided I'm going to do the fuselage in this because as it quite rightly says, this is not for open structure covering. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with the standard tissue I got in the kit from um, Igabo. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the simple things. So we're going to do the um, rudder. And the other thing we're gonna need, are we gonna do the, or basically we're gonna do the tail surfaces. Now, okay, so we're gonna need the materials we're going, well, the products we're going to need to help finish the, the tail surfaces is, um, I got this from Deluxe Models, um, easy dope. There are more traditional methods, but uh, quite frankly, they're quite smelly and for me they're quite nasty to breathe in so we've got that at the moment the other thing you're going to need is a little mist sprayer uh, which I kindly got given one by my wife but when you pump this down this dispenses a very very fine mist that's what we're looking for that's the clue the very fine mist the other thing you're going to need is a glue stick so uh, glue stick and then you're going to need a very sharp pair of scissors or a new blade in your knife and let's crack on with covering these tail surfaces. Right, all I've done is I've cut myself out, I've cut a bit uh, from, the temp, from the tissue, there are a couple of templates and all you want to do is I'm just going round the edge like so all the way round and what I normally do so any big structures I'll just go round like so now the other thing is don't be tempted to do these interstitial ribs because what you'll find is is that you'll end up sagging between um, what I would do on the rudder is I'll just go one up the centre there like so now, so the idea is make sure you get your top back on that. Little tip there, if you want this to go really well, um, in my cabin it's quite cold, so what I do is I keep that somewhere warm, um, not over hot, but just keep that somewhere sort of warm or in your pocket for half an hour, that will um, apply better. So, all we're going to do now is I am just laying this down like so and if you try to straight it out as much as possible oh hang on a minute what have I done there right like so now push that down all the way around and what you can do is if you just take that off you can if you want you see I'm just giving that a little tug but I've got to be honest with you that doesn't really need it that's gone down really well so the next thing I'm going to do now is either with my knife or with a sharp pair of scissors that hopefully if my wife hasn't realized they're missing I'm now going to cut this um, edge off you want just enough so it just over rolls and to be honest with the back I'm going to finish it right on this edge. I'm not going to lick it over. So here I'm going to finish close to the edge. But the leading edge I'm going to roll over just to this side. And this is all going to get finished to the edge as well. Right, that's one side finished. Um, I Just to tell you, this little flip over edge here, you can mix some um, easy dope or a little bit of PVA 50-50 with white. On these small areas, I actually find just rolling it over with the grease glue stick. If you lick your finger as well, that's literally just enough to do it. So that's one side, and then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. 
So I've just sprayed this with water with my 5% um, uh, water and easy dope mix. I've sprayed it on both sides. This is grease proof paper and all I'm doing is, is I am just adding these pins here. Now the reason for these pins, if I can, I'm not sticking them all the way through the wood. I'm using it to stabilise the wood to stop it warping because we've just gone and covered it in a water solution so there okay so I have used exactly the same technique on the tail surfaces the only difference is I've used some yellow tissue that I had because on looking at the white tissue, I wasn't convinced I'd have enough to do the wings. So I am gonna stay with doing yellow tail, white fin. So now, uh, this is pinned down with some um, plastic sheet here. Um, I'm just gonna now leave these to let these dry completely. Remember I've sprayed the water on, uh, the water um, easy dope mix either side I'm just going to leave that these are pinned down clamping it I've not pinned through you can pin through if you have to right okay that is the tail surfaces now they've had their primary covering uh, they're reasonably um, taut now what I am going to do now is that they've just had that water and the five percent of the um, easy dope now, what I'm going to do is, as per the instructions, I'm going to up the concentrate of the um, Easy Dope. And I think it says here something like... Um, mm -mm -mm, apply further coats as if... 30% Easy Dope and 70% water with a small brush. So, the other thing I am going to do is I am now going to put these on a flat board that I've got and I've got to be honest with you these are going to get coated and then I'm going to take them in the house because I'm finding that in my cabin um, it's just the humidity is very high here and I just think that they're going to go off better in the house in a more conducive temperature Right, there we go. I've, uh, what I like to call double dipped. So I've given that a coating of 30%, um, 30, 35, 40% of um, easy dope mixed with water. And a uh, little tip there, just make, actually don't just put it on straight out of the container. Just actually dip the brush on a tissue first just make sure that you don't overload it and what I like to do is I'll actually just dab mine with the tissue just to soak up any of the residue so anyway um, I did take those indoors just to dry gently because my cabin um, is gets very cold and the humidity goes right up now 